Let's take a look at our adding strategies for double digit numbers. Double digit numbers are numbers that have two numbers, so two digits. So 13 and 15 are both two digit numbers. We have a couple strategies that we have used for our basic adding that we can still use for our double digit numbers. The first one is a place value chart. So I am going to draw a quick place value chart with my one section and my tens section. And I am going to put my numbers in here. So I have 15. My five is in the one spot. My 10 is in the 10 spot and 13. My three is in the one spot. My 10 is in the 10 spot. And then I can add the places. So if I add my ones together, I have five plus three, and that is eight. If I add my tens, I have 10 plus 10, which is 20. Or the way it looks for on this method is one plus one, is two. And then that gives me 28. Now I'm going to check. 28 is bigger than 15 and 13. So I know I haven't made any huge mistakes with that. All right, let's do base 10 blocks. So I use sticks to be my 10. And I use little X's to be my ones. I am going to draw 15, so I have one 10 and five ones. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then I'm going to draw 13. So I have a 10 and three ones. So 10, 11, 12, 13. When I add them all up together, I have two tens, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. And I have 28. The next strategy I'm going to show you is counting on. And so we start with our 15. And we're going to be adding 13 because it's 15 plus 13. So I want 13 spaces. You can also do this on your fingers. I'm doing it on paper with spaces so that you can see how it is done. It's harder to show you on my fingers using a computer. So 15, and then I'm going to fill up the spaces. I'm going to count on 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and that's my final number, 28. All right, the next one we're going to do is the picture. Now, this is one I want you to start working away from. It works well for something like this with 15 plus 13, but I want you to imagine drawing a picture for 57 plus 21. That would be a lot of tick marks. So I can draw this one because my numbers are little, but if you have a huge number, you would not want to use this picture strategy. So I'm going to draw tick marks. Five, 10, 15, and then I'm adding my 13, five, 10, 11, 12, 13, and when I count them all up, I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 
27, 28. All right, my last strategy. I really like the friendly number strategy because once you get into more complicated math, like in high school and junior high, they do things that are very similar to this. We call this, here's a new word, algebraic thinking. So for our friendly numbers, we're going to take our numbers and we're going to break them down. So I'm going to break 15 into 10 plus 5. And I'm going to break 13 into 10 plus 3. Then I'm going to gather my 10s. So I have 10 plus 10. I'm going to gather my 1s, 5 plus 3. And now I can work on adding them together. So 10 plus 10 is 20. 10, 20. And then I can add my 5 and my 3. And I could even join those together. So 5 and 3 is 8. 20 plus 8 is 28. Now all my strategies came up with the exact same answer. So I know that 28 must be right. If you are not sure with the answer you get, try another strategy. All right, let's do some, one more question, a little bit more complicated this time. Let's do that 57 plus 22. All right, wait for the camera, there we go, 57 plus 22. So we're going to do our place value chart. Ones and tens. And I'm going to put my number there. So 57 and 22. When I add my ones, 7 plus 2 is 9. When I add my tens, I have 5 plus 2 and that is 7, and I now have 79. Alright, let's do our base 10 blocks. So remember, I use a line for my 10s and a little x for my 1s. So I'm going to draw out 57. So I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 10s, and I need 7 1s. And then I'm going to do my 22. Two tens, 10, 20, and two ones, 21, 22. I'm going to count them up. So when I count this, I've got five, six, seven tens, and I've got seven, eight, nine ones, 79. All right, I'm going to save the picture one for last because that one is the worst for what we're doing with this type of question. But we can still do counting on if we want to. I would do this on your fingers instead of on a piece of paper because that's a lot of writing. But I'm going to show you what it would look like on my paper. So I have 57 and I need to add 22. One, twenty-two. 22. I'm going to fill all of those up. So 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Alright, let's jump into those friendly numbers. Again, we're doing 57 plus 22. So, I'm going to break 57 into 
five tens. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. And a seven. I'm going to break my 22 into two tens and a two. And then I'm going to collect all my tens. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two more. One, two. And then on my seven and my two. Focus on my tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Using our skip counting. And then I could do 70 plus 9 because 2 and 7 is 9. And that is 79. Another way to do my friendly number with 57 plus 22 is I could break it down to 50 plus 7 and 20 plus 2. And then 50 plus 20 is 70. 7 plus 2 is 9, and then 70 plus 9 is 79. Alright, last one, and the reason why we don't use it very much. So, we're drawing ticky marks. We're doing 57, so I'd have to draw 57 to start. 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57. Now I need to add 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. If I count all of them, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. This way it takes a lot longer. All right, those are my strategies. If you would like to use any one of those, they can be really helpful, especially when we get to the next step.